Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 51 box World Series Baseball Mixer Random Team number one. Does that mean there's going to be another one, Nick? Maybe. Maybe. This one sold out fast, so thank you very much, folks. We had three monster mixers on the site. One sold out, basketball very close, and football. Let's keep chipping away at that one. All that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Now, the first 16 spots of this break get entered to win a free spot, our early bird special. So big thanks to the first 16 right here for getting into it. I actually copied their names already right there. So one of you, one of these early birds will catch the worm, a free spot. Let's roll it and randomize it seven times. One and a six. Name on top gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one, seventh and final time. After seven, congrats to Evan. After seven times, you are the early bird that caught the worm. So we'll put you right there. Now let's grab everyone's names here. And we'll randomize your names and then randomize you to a team. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a five, nine times. Your name's first. One, you're welcome, Evan. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, Danny with the spot that you won in random letter break two, all the way down to Dennis Genders. There you go, Dennis. Let's flip to the team list tab. Paste your names here. So there's Danny, down to Dennis. And once again, five and a four, four and a five, nine times for the teams, all teams are in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we got the Tribe down to the Nationals, who we'll be seeing tonight in about, about 30 minutes or so. So after nine times, Indians down to Nationals. And here's how it shakes out. Danny, you have the Tribe. Evan with your early bird spot, Mariners. Steven Yarmola with the Marlins. Scott with the Cardinals. Jacob with the White Sox. Yervin, you have the Pirates. Chris with the Giants. Travis with the Cubs. Chris with the Reds. Robert with the Tigers. Anthony with the A's. Tim with the Diamondbacks. Darren with the Rockies. Rick with the Red Sox, the X-Line with the Rays. Peter, you got my Dodgers. Robert with the Yankees. Evan with the Orioles. Jason Moyers with the Rangers. Brian Crouch with the Blue Jays. Ron Shepard with the Braves. Fred, you got the Twins. Chris with the Padres. Tyler with the Royals. Evan with the Phillies. Steven with the Astros. William with the Angels. Robert with the Mets. William, or sorry, check that. Anthony with the Brew Crew. And Dennis Genders, you have the Nationals. Now let me alphabetize by team. And feel free to trade if you'd like. Now remember, a lot of different years, a lot of different boxes in here. 15, 2017, 18, 19s, 17s, 18s, 19s, 18s, 19s. So keep that in mind before you trade. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the 51 box break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. There were a couple trades in this 51 box World Series baseball mixer. So, Evan and Chris traded. So, Evan, you now have the Reds. Let's put a T next to their capital T so you know that was part of a trade. Chris Parent, you got the Orioles now. Let's put a T next to there. Another trade was Giants Rangers. So, Jason is out of the Rangers spot and into the Giants spot. We'll put a lowercase T there so you know that's from a trade. And Chris with the Rangers, lowercase lower case T, so you know that's from a trade. And there you go. Let's print. Let's rip. Now, we're thinking this break should take us about an hour and a half or so, and then maybe another 15 or so minutes to, to kind of organize everything, put everything away. So that's printing out. And so we'll have the Nick Cam right up there. He'll be helping us out. So thanks, Nick. And thanks, everybody, for filling this up. Why don't you start with these? 
Yeah, I will. STP, well, very rarely does something ever not sell. So probably not. But if we do, it just goes to wherever your payment method was. Just the, some settings here. I have to just live with that. All right. So the list, final official printout, remains the same right here on the 22nd. Jaspi 51 Box World Series Baseball Mixer. Thanks to everybody who bought spots straight up. Thanks to everybody who, congrats to everybody who won spots. There's everything right there. All right, so I'm going to pull back the camera a little bit here. I think we got space for these. And we counted all the boxes, there's 51. So good luck to everybody. We're gonna start with some of these easy ones right here. Get these out of our way. And the first one is gonna be Burt Blylevich, gold ink autograph on that, I think late 80s, early 90s tops card there. 52 out of 97. And that's Twins edition that's going to go to Fred, who won that spot. Congrats to you, Fred. Yeah, Jeff, it was not, not a good game for the, uh, for the Oakland the Raiders. <laughs> I know I hit it. There, there it is. <laughs> Eighty nine tops, yeah, that's what that's what it is. Alright. That poster behind me is every the front and back of every top baseball card from nineteen fifty one to two thousand nineteen. That's a pretty cool poster. And there is Cy Young Award with Eric Gagne. Fifty two out of sixty. Angels, I hated him. <laughs> I think he had was roids too. Well he played with the like he got a big contract and I think he was, Oh yeah, and then was not doing roids anymore. That goes to the Dodgers. That's yes, for Peter. Was like, you guys got any Eric Gagne cards? Like, really? I think so, yeah. Big Gagne fan. <laughs> he was all about Gagne. Is he, was he like French Canadian? <laughs> I don't know. No, definitely not. Then we got Jimmy Key, 25 out of 59. Blue Jays edition. And that will be for Brian Crouch. All right, so we're going to be kind of jumping around all over the place right here. We've got 2017. Allen and Ginter Baseball. This was the uh, product that uh, the boss man has an autograph in this set. Mike Jasperson. He's on the checklist. He's official. If we pull his autograph, he'll give you 100 bucks. Here's Dansby Swanson. Box topper. For the Braves. Yeah. He's on like a box topper, right? Back when this first came out, we did like a a thousand dollar bounty. If we I hit it the first pack, <laughs> it was the first pack, <laughs> and we had to give away a thousand dollars. And he got the card, which sold for a few hundred bucks. Like Nick pulled his dad out of a set, which is probably one of the most unique things to happen. There's a redemption right here. Got another mini right here, Dustin Pedroia. Looks like we got baseball starting soon. Who does everyone have in this in World Series Game One? I think the Nationals have some intriguing value. It's Scherzer. It went at, up to plus one eighty five. At Verland, it went up to plus one eighty five. There's good value there at plus one. There's good value at whatever I whatever I got it at plus one sixty. Sixty seven, I think I saw it. At. I did. I got. I took uh, Nationals first five innings, plus one sixty. That that's that's where I'm the at. The only problem well. is with the Nationals is does that week off, you know? There's a little hurt bit of them or help them. That's I, always the question. I saw something where because um, they were so hot, you know, 
divisional series. I saw something where there are actually numbers where um, too many days off can hurt. Yeah. Where like a certain amount of days off is not. Um, what do we do with these? Randomize them at the end. Sure. The non-sport cards. Yeah. yeah. So these non there's like fish cards in here, and we'll do we'll do a non-sports. I thought you were just showing me. Thing right there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I was like. <laughs> no, I see what you mean. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nice. <laughs> All right, so on the random, at the end, there'll be a non-sports card lot right here. So I don't think, I think there'll be, there'll be, um, it's like, sign your cards, Mike. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> we got like he never knew about non-sports it. in Gypsy Queen, this Ginter. Update. Update might have some. There's the commissioner cards. Oh, the commissioner cards. So that'll all go as one lot to someone at the end of the break. And if there's anything else, we'll just keep adding it to this list. Probably right. not the veteran base since those are base, but all right. the hits and interest. Right, all the hits. Stuff. The minis. There's Sean Doodle who, who's on the uh, Nats now. So TJ's in the house. He says national. Sean Corbett. What's going on, Sean? Um, with the Astros. NHL says Astros. I think there's a little there's a little value on the Nationals if you're into that sort of thing. But I don't know. Astros at home are pretty tough. I still feel like the other shoe might drop on the Nationals bullpen. There's Albert Pujols. For uh, William and the Angels. Anthony also says Astros. And that's out of 25, Andy Katz. So that'll be part of that randomizer. Non-sports randomizer. Jarrett, yeah, we will. Yeah, I think we have the replacement on the way, Jarrett. <laughs> oh, there you go. Sorry, they didn't email you. Yeah, it's on the way. It's on the way to us, and then we'll ship it right to you. If it is one, thank you. Jordan Alvarez, that'd be good for the hobby. First home run of the series. That'd be pretty good. Lefty right, or Scherzer's a righty, right? Mm -hmm. Lefty righty. I'm rooting for the national stuff. So. Yeah, overall, just. From a fan perspective, I'm going definitely going with the NL team. All right, there's Michael Fulmer for the Tigers. That's going to go to Robert. Chris Maxwell says there's a Mike Jasper son in the Rockies organization, a strength and conditioning guy. But Mike Jasper Son is not in this set. Mike Jasper Sen is in this set. So take that, strength and conditioning guy. <laughs> Whatever this redemption is might be a big hit. Usually Ginter, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, Ginter redemptions they usually tend to be kind of stronger hits right there. Let's see. Good luck, everybody. Well, just on box three, Kenton. But yes. Allen and Ginter mini framed autograph. Logan guessing Ichiro. You say Del Curry? No, it's a belly or Oh. Ichiro does not start with L. What's that? Y. Lin? L L Lance? <laughs> Lin? Lyle? Lyle Thompson? He must be a non right? 
He's got to be a non-sport. If none of us know the baseball player Lyle Thompson. Is he a Who baseball is... player? No, he's a professional lacrosse player for the Chesapeake Bayhawks oh, of Major I'm, League I'm Lacrosse. A huge oh yeah, and the Georgia <laughs> Swarm of the National Lacrosse League. <laughs> yeah. He plays for MLL and he plays for NLL. Where did he go to college, dude? Oh man, he went to no, uh, Albany. Albany. I didn't know they had a lacrosse. Following. The Albany Great Danes. Ooh, I like that. Name. <laughs> you That's like a that? Strong name. <laughs> the Great Danes. That's an awesome name. All right, so that'll be part of that non-sports. Right Why there. do they put his nationality? I've never seen that. He's Iroquois, yeah. Native American. Wow. All right, there you go. So that'll be part of that non-sports randomizer right there, which we'll do at the very end He's of the break. He's got a very break. extensive wiki page. He does. For a lacrosse For a lacrosse player, player right. Logan says he's good. At, he has the science take. I can't tell if Logan's being sarcastic. Yeah, I know. Lo I don't... <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad he's not a Duke. I know. Did you? Just, yeah, Chris Maxwell got the Duke <laughs> joke. I think I think Logan range. is lying. I think 90% of the time he's lying. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> have a sign stick. No, he doesn't. You have to send us a picture. There's CNL Perez rated rookie autograph. That's for the Astros. That's for Steve Yarmola. That's 1999 Prince. Michael Kopech Silver, Aaron Nola. We got Yachty to 50. I know, yeah. Eloy. And another Astro. Forrest Whitley, rated prospect autograph. That's for Steven Yarmola and the Strohs. That's a spot he got straight up. I don't know if either of those guys are on the World Series roster. David Fletcher. Josh James, our autographs we can find. I'm sure he's on the World Series roster. Jordan Alvarez is in this. Corbin Martin to 99. Is in Optic, I think. Oh, in this right here? Yeah. I think we got our two autographs already. Maybe a hot autograph. Michael Chape. Hot Ooh, Hotbox? I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe oh, not. We're getting, a, yeah, Maybe we're, another getting, box of Optic. we're getting a little low right here. All right, Sean Reed Foley right here. Oh, here's the other box of Optic. Slide this over. Might have to angle the camera just a little bit here. Copyrighted song right here. Oh it's no, oh, yeah, we, I gotta talk yeah, over yeah, it to yeah, the yeah, blah, 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 blah. blah. Eloy him and Esther 199. We don't want to get our our video muted because of the copyrighted music in the background. They should be able to tell I think the you difference. Can do under 10 seconds, actually. Oh, okay. Because I see, unless they have deals, I see YouTubers put it in. There must be like some place where they can pay for it. Yeah. It's Corey Kluber. Out of 75. That I think I believe. I think I did get you a Yordan out of 10, Logan. That sounds more believable. There's Keston Hira to 199 for the Brewers. Anthony, last spot mojo. Big infield prospect for the Brewers. And there's Eloy Jimenez on card autograph. Nice. That goes to Jacob Hanks. That's a big hit. I know there's a lot of boxes. Chris Maxwell. And there's Ryan Baruki, rated rookie autograph for the Blue Jays. That will be for Brian Crouch. 11 out of 35 on that one, Brian. And then Carter Keyboom, who is not in the starting lineup tonight. I don't think he's on the World Series roster. All 
All right, thank you. We've got Chronicles, the Chronic. And my nemesis, Raleigh Fingers. 11 out of 49. This is fingers. Brewers. Like it. <laughs> it just says fingers. Raleigh Fingers. Put toes on here. That goes to Anthony, last bot yeah, mojo. Snub you totally summed me at the national. No. <laughs> no. No. And it's like, son. what? We went to the we went to the same high school. I think he might have sunned me. He, he said, might have he I think oh, he, he sunned you? He, I, he might have sunned me, yeah. He seems like the sun type. Yeah. You can't do that, son. There's Buster Posey. Well, it's like we went to the same G D high school. Not at the same time, but <laughs> there's nice Carson Fulmer, another white sock. Going to Jacob Hanks. In about 20 minutes. 5'10"? Yeah, 5'10", five, five, I think. That's his out of 25. Nice Carson Fulmer. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by these, but we'll definitely uh, sleeve and top load all that stuff and make sure all that's taken care of. Vikings and Redskins. It's terrible. NFL this week is really bad. Bad matchups. You know what's going to be... So if the Thursday night football matchup's terrible, you know what's good? The Monday night football, football mixer. Might be, yeah, that's football right. mixer. Monday night football might be the worst one ever. Hunter Renfro, who's Dolphins playing? Dolphins at Steelers. Oof. That's rough. I think Mason Rudolph might play. Like Chris that. Maxwell with the Padres. Which is unbelievable. <laughs> I don't think uh, that's how ESPN drew it up when they were like doing, it's like, oh yeah, that's a good schedule right there. No, they didn't. Well, that's why they're like they're like okay. But everybody like has to have one prime type. Yeah. Another cracked ice Buster Posey, to seventy five. But just, I'll I'll bet they were the thinking oh we, AFC matchup Big Ben versus like an upstart Dolphins team yeah. is probably what they thought. The Monday night games haven't been good since that Houston versus New Orleans matchup. Oh yeah. That was week one, right? Yeah, yeah. It hasn't been good since then. And a redemption. I can't remember one other good game. You know, Logan says Optic Suite even without the logos. I have to be honest with you. Maybe it's it's probably because we break a lot of stuff, and especially a lot of Panini baseball. I don't even notice it anymore. But I can see that if you don't see a lot of it, that it'll maybe noticeable. But for me anyway, not as noticeable anymore with the non-logos. Chronicles autographs. Oh. Oh, O'Shea, Omar? O'Shea Brissett? Orlando? Arcia? Uh, he bounced around Brewers. a little bit. Is he Brewers, Brewers edition? Be Brewers, right? Still Brewers? 2017 Chronicles is definitely Brewers. Definitely has to be Brewers, right? Oh, is he still a Brewer? He's, He's always been a Brewer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you're thinking of um, Lewis Brinson. Maybe I'm thinking of Brinson, yeah. He got traded in the LH deal. All right, that goes to Anthony Bonilla, who got the Brew Crew, uh, or who got Last Bot Mojo. Oof, Chris Maxwell, your Jets. Ouch. Not great. New England defense is just so good. That's just, yeah, no, yeah. Nothing you can do about that. I don't know, take your poison here. I'm going to make myself a little bit of room. Move some of this over here. So let me just give you a nice little helicopter shot of all the box that we're looking at. There's some boxes tucked away back you got a little there. Bridge going there. Yeah, there's like a little bridge happening back there. There's some more boxes stacked up there. So there's a lot going on, but we did a count before the break. 51 boxes all there. I guess if you really want to be a stickler about it, you could go back through this hour and a half long video and just <laughs> count every box. All right, there's three chrome cards inside right here. And it's going to be Freddie Freeman. These cards aren't sliding. Freddie Freeman, James Paxton, and Ramon Laureano. That's to 150. All right. John Corbett saying Chargers about to run the table when the AFC West. Well, they kind of did that last year. Didn't they start last year really poorly? 
And then they and then they like rattle off ten wins in a row or something stupid like that. It was crazy. That game for them was so. Good. Oh, that was a brutal. That was brutal. Melvin Gordon at the one foot spot. <laughs> it's not even a yard. I think it was like half a yard. Like he went under instead of going over. He should have jumped. Wasn't great. Not and then he fumbled it. Did you okay. see him on? Did you see him on? The, he was bummed out. He was so bummed on the sideline. Well, he's playing for a contract. Oh, you were at the stadium. It's confusing situation. And it's. I'm not sure what's going on with the Chargers. That o offense, I thought. Breeze? He still has Keenan Allen and Mike Williams and Rivers. Hunter. I don't know. Their offensive line, maybe. Eckler's still in me. Yeah, I guess O-line is not very good, actually. It's actually kind of funny because one of the podcasts I was listening to was like, don't go with bad offensive lines going east. Yeah. And like, it was exactly that. It's probably less Melvin Gordon's fault. It's probably more the offensive line's fault for not opening up a decent hole. Uh, no, veteran base most likely does not chip in this. Yeah. Yeah, so all RCs, first Bowman Chromes, inserts, SPs, variations, refractors, silver, numbered cards, and hits obviously ship. No paper base and no veteran base. Stuff like this, I mean, it's going to take our shipping team long enough to sort through all this. In fact, folks, I, I would give it an extra day or two than, than you would normally expect for these breaks. Obviously, it's going to take our team a little bit longer to sort through all of this. And there's Daniel Mangden. Great mustache there What's for the team? A's. Anthony Call me Bonilla. After And there's Cesar Hernandez, almost passed by him. Phillies on the board. Evan with the fight in Phillies. That's the spot he bought straight up. Oh, what do, what do we got here for National Anthem? Anyone know who's doing, doing the National Anthem today? Game one? Houston legend, maybe? There's Matt Boyd, 250. Oh, moment of science for an ump that passed away. You. You're welcome. All right, there's Gypsy Queen. I have no idea who Nicole Scherzinger Scherzing is, but she was a she's a panelist on the Mass Singer. Let's see how she does. Go get it, Nicole. Hernandez, twenty five. Jake Rogers. Oh, I see Rem. It's to four ninety nine. Tigers, Robert. Nelson Cruz to one fifty. Logan Shore, A's. Is she from Houston? 
Is that why she's doing this? It's to 150. Nice Jordan Alvarez to 150. Brady Singer to 99. Let's show you. I'm not standing. Should I stand? So, my hat's still on. I just wanted to give a little silence for the national anthem. Mean, She's doing a good job. I mean, protesting. <laughs> there goes our business. She went low. She's not going high. All right. That's pretty good. All right. There's Josh Bro. All right, good job, Nicole Scherzinger, a panelist on The Mass Singer, and a Pussycat Doll from 03 to 2010. That goes to the Yankees' Robert Myhill. So there you go. She kind of took her time on that one. Everyone had the over on that, right? Luis Severino, 250. Oh yeah, no, I, 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 I turned it up for the national anthem. Now we, crank it up we, yeah, we can turn it down for Joe Buck. Nice no. Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. That'll be for Scott Curry. I did not call about the Eagles to the season eight show. I've never called in the sports talk radio. It's a bucket list of mine to do that. All right, we go to Yo, Nick. this is Nick from Redondo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hang up and listen. Thanks. <laughs> That's the voice you're going to go with, huh? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Trevor Larnock. Yo, this is Nick from Mimosa Beach. <laughs> what up, Stephen A? First time, long time. Trevor Larnock goes to the Twins. Fred. I just want to say, what is Doug Peterson doing with the Eagles? Say, why did the Eagles get Went rid of the Super Bowl? Why, why did they get the rid of Nick Foles? Nick Foles? <laughs> Bring Nick Foles back. Does the defense not like Carson Wentz? Because they don't play good when Carson Wentz starts at quarterback. All right, all right. I know. The Eagles, they make me mad too. <laughs> I was rooting for you, Holly. You played the Cowboys, I was rooting for you. <laughs> There's Acuna Jr. That is blasphemy. There's Juan Soto. Woo! Whoa. Super thick right there. Four out of 49. Dennis Genders. Good time to get the Nationals here. Oh, what do we lose? A pack? Nice Juan Soto. Juan Soto is, what, are you betting leadoff today, Juan Soto? No, he's betting fourth. Trey Turner. It's Trey Turner, Adam Eaton, Anthony Rendon, Juan Soto, Howie Kendrick, Azubel Cabrera, Ryan Zimmerman, uh, Kurt Suzuki, and Victor Robles. Kendrick is your DH. Rem, what's going on? Oh, that, that Manchester United game made me real nervous. It's Michael Conforto. They, tied, uh, first, they lost their win streak. It's 1-1, one, one, yeah. But I was nervous because... Well, they, they drew? I think, think they, they drew. They left it late before the Adam Lallana equalizer. It's Corbin Burns for the Brew Crew. Anthony Bonilla, yeah, last spot mojo. Minute, I think. It was late, yeah. Too late for comfort. Yo, this is Nick from Chelsea. Are we going to fire Frank Lampard? <laughs> Yo, this is Nick from Chelsea. <laughs> what if I asked you... Call Stephen A. Smith, Stephen a. Smith with your hot like EPL it. takes? Yeah, what with your you hot say? English Premier League takes? Why, I don't is, I don't why think, is Frank Lampard not starting Christian Pulisic? I, I don't think you'd get past the call screener. That goes to Chris Maxwell no, and the Padres. No, but I would fake it. I would say, yeah, I'm calling about the, the Yankees. You know? Okay, okay, I see. I'm calling about the Lakers. I'm calling about how Clippers are going to take over L.A. Yeah. And then you get on air, and, and then, then you just drop your hot Christian Pulisic yeah. take. Yeah. Your hot Chelsea take. Yo, like, Stephen A. There's 
Jesus yeah. famous. Why isn't Frank Lampard? <laughs> like, why is he sandbagging Pulisic? Yeah. Why is he not playing Christian Pulisic? Let's get um, him out there on the pitch. There's this guy in New York, Mike Francesa. Everyone always calls him Frankston. It's really funny. There's Pablo Lopez. Didn't he do... He's Mike in the Mad Dog. The Mad Dog show back in the day, right? Yeah. Rookie autograph going to the Marlins. That'll be for Steve Yarmolo, who has the Marlins. Yeah. Either love Mike Francesa or hate him. He's, yeah. He's, but people listen, so. He's got really, like, he switches his takes. It's so funny. Another Chronicles. I, I just think he's funny. I don't like listening to him. I don't There's listen Logan to him. Morrison for the Tampa Bay Rays to, uh, to 99. That goes to the Josh X line. He'll be like one night, oh, why are they starting Encarnacion? You know? And then the next yeah. night he's like, they can't start Encarnacion. And then... Denilson Lamed for the Padres. Six. Chris Maxwell. we got to start Encarnacion, Boone. What are you thinking? And then Mike Russo is the, is the other guy, right? Yeah. And he's on MLB Network, yeah. I think. I don't know how he... And he does his... He has a serious XM channel, Mad Dog. Trey Max... Man, see, I don't know how he his voice doesn't go out every time. I know he's annoying. Trey Mancini, Orioles, Chris Parent drawing first blood in that trade. And there's Billy Hamilton triple threat materials for the Phillies. Phillies edition, Reds edition. Check that. Just looked at a red team, not Braves edition. There's Mangara Sierra, Ryan Healy to 2.99 for the A's. Ken Griffey Jr. 3.99. Adrian Beltre, Mike Trout to 1.99. Actually, yeah, I don't mind Joe Buck actually. Oh, Joe Buck, I don't know. I well, you, well, you and I, I differ. Like, I don't like Joe Buck doing baseball. You're yeah. okay with him doing baseball. You don't, don't like him doing football. I don't football. mind him football either. I just don't like Troy Aikman. No, but like everyone says, he hates their team. That's good when you know when all thirty teams think. I guess he's thinks, unbiased. Yeah. I guess twenty nine because the Cardinals. He definitely loves. Definitely loves the Cardinals. But, I mean, there's got to be a reason why he's on every huge game, you know? His dad, Jack Buck? Yeah, but... No, I know. If, would Fox keep him on if, like, he drove away people? I don't know. No, probably not. Someone must like him. <laughs> but, I mean, if you think about it, what other announcer would they have? There's Lion Richardson. Wait, on Fox? Yeah. There's Call Evan with the Reds. Call baseball. It's even up. Play. Well, I don't know who Fox has on their roster. But I don't even know. Joe Davis? Dodgers broadcast? I don't broadcast even know a ton or? of other play by play. You know, baseball. Um, Who's the guy who does ESPN Sunday Night Baseball? Matt Baskurgeon and. Yeah, he's okay. And A Rod? And yeah. Um. Jessica, Jessica Mendoza. Mendoza. Although they're they're splitting up the team. Oh really? There's Cabrian Hayes, 25. You guys hear that news? Oh, see, Chris and Logan like Joe Buck. Yeah. So, so I mean, there's there's got to be people that like yeah. him. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I think it's really that Joe Buck Tim McCarver yeah, matchup. Tim McCarver. That Joe Buck Tim McCarver a better. matchup. Yeah, Smoltz is to me a lot better. Kind of boring. Pete Rose. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I don't know if he could do it for the whole game. <laughs> Maybe one of those one inning calls. Pete Rose should just do it like a gambling broadcast. <laughs> I think they should just. <laughs> it's like, this is a good spot for the Nationals right here, the money line. <laughs> I think they should just get rid of the announcers in baseball and then just have the players mic'd up like they do the All Star game. 
They should at least have like a side yeah, channel that does that. Yeah. It's just like how you can listen to NASCAR, just listen to the yeah. drivers. Yeah. That's one of the best. Yeah, green, like green, 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 Should we put Deion Sanders in the booth? I just saw that Deion Sanders 30 for 30, which is pretty good. There's Evan White. The ride the bus one? What's no, that's Jordan. Um, the double play oh, yeah. about how he did like three games in one day or something like that. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good one. He's on the helicopter and stuff? Yep, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the one, yeah. I just saw that recently. I, yeah, I have ESPN Plus. I've watched it. I gotta watch the OJ Made in America. That's like six hours, though. Yeah, that's, a, that, that's an <laughs> but investment. But it won like so many awards. It's pretty good, actually. I watched the FX. How about some, how about some museum collection, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see what we got here. Uh, I did not this year, Marcus. Maybe Nick has any? No. No, no futures? No one last year. No futures. No. He had it. He nailed it. I did. I did have Joey Logano last year. There's Freddie Freeman, triple relic and autograph to 149. The Brian Dozier goes to the Twins, obviously, and the Freddie Freeman. Twins are uh, Fred. And Freddie goes to Ron Shepard and the Braves. Nice one. Once football gets here, it's kind of hard to watch NASCAR, you know? Right. Times and stuff. There's Will Myers, quad relic, 94 out of 99. Another Padre for Chris Maxwell. I don't watch F1. I have a couple of buddies that do love the F1, though. It's Cal Ripken Jr. to 150. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have F1 cars. Yeah, why don't they? Someone must have. I mean, that's such a huge like you sport internationally. Yeah. yeah. Jose Ramirez to 299. Panini must have the Formula One. If you have NASCAR. I don't know because they've never brought them here, and then I don't think I've ever seen them. Let's do the leather and lumber, which was a pretty popular set on our site. Sold a lot of this. Shoei Otani, triple relic for the Angels. That looks like a smiley face there. It's William with the Angels. And we got Sean Reed Foley. Nice. Six out of 149. Who's a uh, really famous uh, F1 driver, That the young guy? Name. Sometimes they put old like they put like they'll put like Andretti in like yeah in well, like NASCAR be, it's sets. It's technically racing, racing yeah. yeah. But maybe they'll do more. Stuff. We've got Jock Peterson, nineteen out of twenty-five. Oh, Trey Turner on on base. Is that an error? That was a hit, right? That's got to be a hit. That's 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 tough if they call that an error. I didn't I didn't see it. I just saw him bobble it. Ooh, huh. That's close. Yeah. And there is lumber signature Cedric Mullins. They'll probably call it a hit. Probably a hit because it's in hard, Houston. It's hard, yeah. yeah, in Houston. Yeah, well, yeah, the score is gonna be like. We'll yeah. just... Um, sorry. Then that's. Cedric Mullins, Orioles, Chris Perrin got that in a trade. Taco. Yeah. Taco. Woo. We got a taco, ladies and gentlemen. It's a way team, right? Or is it any team? Steal any t I think it's any team. Steal a base, steal a taco. Wow. Thanks, Trey Turner. Yeah, that's that's that good old National League Baseball right there. There's Francisco Mejia. The <laughs> good old National League Baseball. But Slap single, steal a base, station to station, generate those runs. Hey, I was all about those. <laughs> Francisco those Mejia. Oh, that was, that was a bad, bad. bunch. That's bad National League Baseball. 
120 out of 149 rookie signatures. Houston's, Tuki Toussaint, Houston Ron Shepard. The, place to play in MLB, I think. the whole the whole stadium gets loud and it's like built like a theme park. They got the roller coaster thing. You they, know, they got a train up there. It just seems like a weird stadium. There's Willie Calhoun. If they still had the hill in the center field, they, they should have kept the hill. They should have kept the hill. They should have kept the hill. There's a big flagpole right there. But Remember guys that? got hurt, I think. I don't know. That was like a quirky, like a callback yeah, to like the like old a, days yeah. and like old Tiger Stadium, the 1920s. I think they had like a big hill there. Came to the AL, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Willie Calhoun, Rangers. That's for Chris Maxwell who got the Rangers in a trade. And another one, Corbin Burns, 75. I like the piece of the baseball that they pulled out here. And that's for the Brew Crew, Anthony Bonilla, racking up Corbin Burns's. I know you said it, but that is disgusting act. Classic Joe Buck. Yeah. Randy Moss. It wasn't that bad. Was not disgusting, no. But he, but he made it sound like he like, yeah, he like peed on a kid or something like that. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> I remember watching that. I was like, ooh, must have done something really Sterling's bad. Sterling's been sitting here for a little bit. Let's grab that. Ooh, a plate. Whoa. First of all, we got Suli Matthias for the Royals. Tyler Stump on the board with the Royals. He won that spot in a random letter break. There you go, Tyler. And you got a plate, Toussaint, for the Braves. There it is. All aboard! Whoop, whoop. And that'll be for Ron Shepard and the Bravos. You know, for train whistles, we need to have... Like a sticker we put on the top one. So every. Ooh. Whoa. We got a dual autograph for the Metropolitans. Nice. Ronnie Maurizio and Shervin Newton. Mets. That goes to Robert Myhill and the Mets. I think it's funny because Robert got the Mets and the yeah, Yankees. Yankees. And he usually good. buys those teams straight up. Oh, really? Yeah. Funny. Yeah, we should have. Uh, uh, train stickers that was put on every Ooh, on every train whistle hit. Ooh, that's nice hit. Yeah. There's Marco Luciano to 150 Giants. Oh, well. Jason Moyers got the Giants in a trade. Big prospect for the Gigantes. Little Oppo Joe Mojo as well as a Dodger guy. There you go, Jason. Come on, Juan. Do we have? Do we? Do you have a? Drafting no, final? I'm for the hobby and Freudus Nova. Go to the Angels. That's for the Strohs. That'll be for Steven Yarmola. He couldn't stop talking about Angel Stadium a couple nights ago. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Garrett Cole? Yeah. Didn't he grow up down there? Yeah, there? he was talking about his favorite World Series moment, and he was at the Angels World Series. Oof. 99 miles per hour blew him away. All right, there's Nick Madrigal. Prospect autograph of Wander. Wander Franco. Is it? Yeah. And Wander wow. Franco. Nice. Wow. That is awesome. That was an awesome. Rays with that one. The X line with the Rays. Nice. Huge prospect. I think maybe top three in baseball. I think he's number one. Number one, maybe. Yeah. Most lists would have him way up there. Dual autograph, Marco Luciano and a Wander Franco. What a box. All right, let's get this gold label going. Look at that right there. We got Ledmes Diaz, 75. Oops, sorry about that. Lost a little bit of the focus there. Let's fill up the basketball mixer. Come on, camera. <laughs> Not that like this veteran commons won't ship anyway, but still. Many big hits. <laughs> the camera can't handle it. 
Why is our trash can already full? It's been. No matter what your name is. All right, and behind Ichiro, your gold frame auto is going to be nice Carson Fulmer, 47 out of 50. White Sox with a nice break thus far. Jacob Hanks with the White Sox. All right, Bowman. Should I do one Bowman? I think so. Might be Wander Franco in here too. See if if Verlander's first pitch uh, fastball Scherzer. or Scherzer's first pitch fastball outside. Why I mean, you know, it's too much adrenaline. And he's just too pumped up. Got to watch for that. Ooh, starts off with a changeup slider. slider and a one out of five. Franklin Colon. Nice red shimmer for the Mets. Robert Myhill. Robert. All aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop whoop. See, a little too much adrenaline, Matt Scherzer. Deep breath. I can't look at his eyes. It freaks me out. Are you, are you eye, you're eye shaming him? No, but he's got two different colored eyes. And they're like this. You can't really see it. You can't really see it there. They photoshopped it. Just that it doesn't scare kids. Ooh, Robert, is that your first Big Hit Express? Congrats. You'll never forget your first. That'll be right up there, Robert Myhill. He'll be like, first crush, first kiss, first train whistle. I know, I think it's a nice mix of stuff. There's Peter Lambert, 250. Nice Wander Franco, Sterling. There's Estevan Floreal to 250. Close. So that's where the zone's gonna be tonight, huh? All over the place. I hate Man. that K zone on the team. I know, I hate the K zones too. I feel like they never adjust for the height. It's like the same yeah. for Altuve as it yeah. is for Aaron Judge. Yeah, it's weird. Some people are saying Aaron Judge is too tall. That's a take I've heard. In what? The, too tall for what? Because his, his strike zone is way bigger. So he's just, it's just too, too tall. tall for baseball? Yeah. Strikes out too much. I mean, he, I'm not saying it. Other people are. I guess his swing could get long, but. But like his like they can call strikes, so you know, like he can't even reach it, you know, because he's so tall. <laughs> that, that's that, the if that's talk, the take. Talk. Take. See, the box is the same for Altuve on the screen. See ya. No, I can't see from here. Is that a weird angle? Can yeah. you see outside? Chance Adams to 499. I'm just gonna go by Joe Buck's voice. I just want you to listen to the sound of the bat and just tell me what it is. Okay. <laughs> Watch the game blindfolded. Yeah. Just do it by sound. 
and just the way the the ball hits the glove, and you're like, oh, that sounds like a sounds like an O2 slider, one and two to count. Let's get this tops chrome knocked out here. I want to get some of these heavier sets knocked out first. Don Rab, what's going on? Next train whistle, Judge or Alonzo? Not asking too much. No, not at all. Well, you know what's funny, Robert Myhill? It was funny that you got randomized the Mets and Yankees because, yeah, there was, wasn't there? No, there was no auto in that Bowman. Is that empty right there? Hold on, don't step on. That's empty, right? Yes, this is empty. Open all the time. I'll take out the box. Maybe we can send for an auto. I'll try to send for an auto. Yeah, no auto in that Bowman. Anthony Bonilla noticed it too. There should be two autos, right? That's crazy. Well, we got the one out of five. If we miss both autos, that's No, there's no way we, I miss both autos. All right, we were all watching. No, but I'm just saying if they just didn't put it in complete. No, one auto per box. I would add another box, but we don't have this bone. Maybe we'll just send it and see what they can send us. And he had packed it. Yeah. Maybe we'll run. Maybe our team will run into it. I don't, I don't think I missed it though. I'll go through it. Yeah. All right. Well, it's possible that I missed it, but not probable. There's Framber Valdez for the Astros. That'll be yeah. for Steven Yarmola to 250. And even if I missed it, someone would be like, hey, that was the second box you the missed moment, it. Right? Eight out of 99, Eloy Jimenez. Yeah, because we don't have any more Bowman on our table. And there's Ray Black for the Giants. That'll go to Jason Moyers with the Giants. All right. Yeah, the sun is starting to come through here, so it's going to mess with our like white balance and all that stuff right now in a second. Tim S. is saying, thanks for the Diamondbacks randomizer. Well, at least it was a spot that you won and you didn't pay full price for it. No auto in that Bowman. There's Jalen Beeks. Autograph. I was your second hit, actually, Jason. There's a you had a really nice Marco Luciano prospect autograph a couple boxes ago. Stephen Duggar to two ninety And there's Miles Straw for the Astros. Astros racking up some autographs too. Steven Yarmola with that one. Gilo, what's going on, man? Happy World Series A to you too. It's the first time in a 
in a couple of years, I get to watch the World Series stress-free. I can just enjoy it for the love of baseball. And Reese McGuire. Blue Jays autograph going to Brian Crouch. And Elvis Andrews right here. some stadium club right here. Uh, I'm on the Nationals in the first five innings tonight. Nationals first five. And Shayla also going with the Nationals. She's saying go Nationals, beat Houston. Yeah, I'm, st I'm a l still a tiny bit salty about that World Series a couple years ago. I can stand for the Nationals to win it all. Rowdy Tellez, Blue Jays, Brian Crouch. Great photography here in the stadium club. That's one of their hallmarks. <laughs> Jeff Goldhaber is wondering. What channel are his Red Sox on? That was a rough season for the Red Sox. There's Dennis Santana, Dodgers. Rookie autograph going to Peter. Ooh, off the wall. 2 nothing Astros. Yeah, Zion out for out for six to eight weeks. All right, for the Bowman, I'm adding a free box. Whoa! Of optic. There you go. For that missing autograph, we're gonna hook up, hook you guys up with a fifty second. And I'll try to box here. I'll try to email Pops. Let's see. Let's see, get a response. I saved the pack in the box. But here's the thing. Greg Oden never had the hype that Zion has, so I think everyone will be willing to wait for Zion. Trevor Richards autograph. Did Greg Oden even play any preseason games to excite anybody? Probably yeah, not. Yeah, and Greg Oden was taller, right? He's like four or five inches taller. Greg Oden was like Jim Marcus Russell. I don't think Zion's like that. Yeah. I don't know if the Zion Greg Oden comparisons really really make sense to me. It'd be more like a Derrick Rose comparison, I think. Right, actually yeah. Yeah, like But I don't I don't know. He's still pretty young, so we'll see. Zion's like only like maybe just turned nineteen? Yeah. And he had historic preseason numbers. Which Greg Oden never had. No. Chris Shaw, another giant four. Uh, Jason Moyers. I don't know if he showed that or not. 
I'm sure I did. And this massive bum garner popped out of here. There's that. That's out of nine ninety nine. Do some inception, huh? There's Ramon Laureano to 25 autograph in green. I do agree that he that this was probably a good time for Zion to to lose some of that baby fat. There's Ramon Laureano autograph for the A's. What's good, though, about Zion is, A, that he is young. That goes to Anthony Bonilla in the A's. And, B, he's got, he's got time to trim some of that weight. Not a fan. And Steven Duggar, 73 out of 75, jersey and autograph. I think that's, I think that's something that, even in his Duke days, that's what everyone's talking about. It's like, oh, in the pros, he's got, he's got to maybe shed some pounds. Which I'm sure, if we can see it, I'm sure the Pelicans organization can see it. Hey, maybe a little brightness? Yeah, a little brightness. Oh, at this time of day, you can now change exposure to go to camera control tab, and that way, one notch. There you go. And yeah, maybe slide that down just a teens. It's a little bit better? Yeah. It's also hot in here. Yeah, I turned the AC back on. Artist proof, Clayton Kershaw. David Fletcher, artist proof. Oh. <laughs> and there's Elo Jimenez, dual relic. Well, for our part, we definitely want the hype machine to keep going. <laughs> it's good for the hobby, good for business. I root for everybody. I root for everybody. Gilo not rooting for Zion. Gilo not. Gilo doesn't want Jaspi's business to do well. I root for Daniel Jones. I root for him from the day that he was drafted. Ron Shepard with the Braves to forty nine. Root for Eloy Jimenez. Rooting for Fernando Tatis Jr. Rooting for, for Reddish and Barrett. Even Kyle Tucker. John Morant. John Morant. Sean Corbett would rather have the Hachimura bandwagon going. I'm rooting for that guy too, rooting for the Wizards. Oh, it's not that dramatic, Jeff Goldhaber, but <laughs> having a healthy Zion will help. I don't know, recent history has shown though, those 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 injuries usually don't have too much of an impact. Ben Simmons was out for the entire year. Yeah. And his stuff, and even if he didn't have autographs in Panini stuff, his like base card and stuff still sold for a ton. So Otani was injured for like his rookie year was out for a month or two, on and off. His stuff did he stuff did just fine. There's Jake Bowers, dual relic and autograph. For the tribe, that'll be for Danny. Why was out for a ton? Yeah. But it's all stock market, though, you know. If, if you believe there's going to be someone that's going to be smart and keep a certain player, could be Zion, and end up winning. You know, other people are going to sell on Zion and then wish they had it. Vice versa. It's 
Josh James. Pretty sure Lonzo's a starter. I think Lonzo's gonna start actually. Who's sitting on the bench? Is Lonzo not starting? No. That's interesting. Who are they starting Pel over Lonzo? Pelicans expert. Our Pelicans reporter. Ooh, I thought that was going to be an auto, but it's just Fernando Tatis Jr. Dual Relic. Still nice, though. Buy the dip, says Sean Corbett. Oh, like... I would, actually. Zion would be probably a good time to get almost, like, now. <laughs> you know, if... Fade the public. If people are freaking out about Zion and they're selling too cheap, that's where you snap those up. And wait, then wait for him to become Rookie of the Year. Ooh, one left in the basketball. Nice, you're welcome, Chris Max. I thought that was going to be an auto for that Tatis Jr., though. Still a nice dual relic. So Matt DeLeo saying one left in the basketball mixer. What are we what are we seeing here on my screen? Yes, one left straight up. But we still have to move the mini mixer, the three box mini mixer, and those random pack breaks. But three, four, or five pack breaks, which are yeah, it's not easy that to bad. fill. And then the, just that three boxer. And then the last spot in the basketball. There's Jim Tomei to 25. Nice one. Indians edition. Marion Rivera to 50. That was a one -on -one at first. And I did too. Bryce, Bryce Harper to 25. I missed the old tech, kind of. There's Ronald Acuna to 99. And base card autograph. Look at this. Anthony Rizzo. Nice one for the Cubbies. Travis Melberg. Well, that's another nice one right up there, too. I think so. And this is another nice autograph right here. Marcelo Zuna Cardinals edition. 35 out of 99. That'll be for Scott Curry. There's Dustin Fowler. To 150. Wow, Zimmerman just took Cole Yard. Is that the first half over? First five innings? I don't even know what the over under was. For the first five innings? I have no idea. Or for either. the total game, seven and a half? I think so. It was like seven. All right, and here's contenders draft picks. So yeah, pack breaks three, four, five, mini mixer, and then. There's Michael Bush. I should probably look these up. Pull up the new breaks first. College ticket autograph. Do we have labels here? No. Oh, here you go. Oh. Lawyer never bonded the Zion hype. He's already falling apart. I'll give him some time. I'm willing to give Zion some time. I won't write him off just yet. Game yet. Let's give him a shot. Okay, Michael Bush is your Dodgers. Michael Bush on the Dodgers? Yes, sir. B U S C H. Uh huh. Bush. Like the beer? Like the beer. Dodgers. And we've got Hunter Bishop. I want to say he's a royal. He is a gigante. 
Dang it. That goes to the that goes to the Jason Moyers, San Francisco. I like Hachimura a lot. I mean, even without Zion, this rookie class is pretty good, so right. I'm not that worried. And Zion's still gonna sell the highest, so if you don't like him, you can just if you hit him in a break, you can just sell his stuff, you know? That's the beauty of it. Logan Davidson. That's a uh, White Sox. No. <laughs> a athletic. Athletics, all right. I got the right league. See you, kids. See ya. Um, Oakland. Oakland. That'll be for Anthony Boni, who got that in a team random right there. Wait, what did I say about MJ? There's Logan Wyatt. I forgot what you said. That's Dodgers. And Gavin Lux, obviously. Nice. 88 out of 99. Draft ticket autograph. Another one for Peter. That's a hit. Ooh, nice play. Why didn't he... Why didn't he just yeah. go weird. through the bag? Yeah. I would have ran through him. Yeah. Come on, Kurt Suzuki. Oh. And he missed it. He, he kind of missed it. He could have stepped on it. Yeah, Kurt. Come on, Kurt. Come on, Kurt. This is the big baseball mixer. How long did what take? This mixer? We started hour and five minutes ago breaking. The first ten minutes or so we're trading. The first five minutes, maybe. It's been about an hour ten minutes. We probably have like 30, 40 minutes left. There's Moises Gomez, 39 out of 99. So it'll probably be right at the that mark that Joe set, actually. One player? Moises, Moises Gomez is a Tampa Bay Ray. Moises Alou? Oh, yeah, there you go. Do they all have those? No. Okay. Like, oh, they do, actually. Oh, no, this, see, this no, is this college, is yeah. college, yeah. They do that. Some of these are... I think the college ones are the players that were just drafted in 2019. Gotcha. Gavin Lux is what, 2018? Might as well just keep writing all these down. Make it consistent. Oh, uh, figuring out the pricing? I don't know, a couple hours to put, to upload it and everything? To do all that? There is Nassim Nunez. When I don't have, I don't. When I don't do the picture of the boxes, it's actually a lot quicker because making the photo, I try to. <laughs> it's hard. That's the hardest part. Is to get all the boxes to stay up and get them in the shot. So that's why I did just the World Series logo. Where does this guy go? Nassim. Nassim Nunez. That is Miami. Oh, there's a pug in that commercial. I don't know if Bubba's ever going to be a show pug. Oh, it's too wild. Okay, so NBA Mixer sold out. So now we just need to do the three packs left of Prism, where you can chase the big draft guys. And then the mini mixer, which you can chase like Kawhi Leonard stuff. I think we can do that tonight. And then we can do the football mixer tonight. And then wow, football uh, mixer tonight? That'd be ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> it's possible. We could probably work that in there. Maybe have Jason do the football or something. I don't know. We'll see. It's all up to the to the people. The will of the people. What do the people want? The frame out of here behind Chris Davis is going to be. Wow. Wow. Two out of five. Big Mac. Mark McGuire for Anthony Bonilla and the A's. And he got the A's in one of those random letter breaks, number three. Nice. Anthony. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo I'll just 
keep it at 99 boxes if that were the case. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, introducing our 99 box. It, 99 box, boxes and 23 packs of a 24 pack box. So after the Stadium Club and Bowman Chrome, it's all one pack. Nice. You're looking good for about 6.30. All right, next one. Good luck. You're welcome, Anthony. That was a sharp Out of 75, Kyle time. Tucker to 75. All right, where did my Nolan Arenado to 99. What are you looking for? You did the box stoppers. Yeah, I've been doing. I have been doing this. Stadium club. I just thought I had. Oh, there's, there's one, one, one hiding right down there. there. All right, your next frame is gonna be DJ Stewart, Orioles. He missed the tag, so if Suzuki stepped on the bag, he would have been safe. Come on, Kurt. But then Suzuki just stopped. He thought he got tagged. See? He could have just went. I guess it would have been kind of an awkward move. There's Juan Soto to 150. Angels need a catcher. Luke Royce. Not good. We got Errol. <laughs> Poor Luke Roy. Dirty Josh Reddick. Dirty Josh Reddick, see? Just a bunch of dirty players. Might as well be Axe Murderer Hunter Pence. Yeah, put Hunter Pence on there too. All right, and the frame is Josh James. Robert, what's going on? I, I sure did. No one was listening. That's for entertainment purposes only. Why would you listen to a Raiders fan? <laughs> of course, the Raiders fan's always going to say, take the Raiders' money line. I could root against our own team. There's Adley Rushman. And we've got Matt Cantorino, 2 out of 15. Cantorino? Twins. Twins with that one. Twinkies. We did we almost win all of our contest picks, though. Oh, yeah, four and a half. We, went, we got four and a half points out of the f possible five. One push. That's pretty sharp. Four wins and a push. Hashtag sharp. All right, twins with that one. That'll be for Fred. We technically won all of them. We're undefeated this week. It's true, yeah. Losing no zeros, yeah. If you bet a million dollars on all of our picks, you'd be a multi-millionaire. This is true. For contest picks, yes. And we got Will Wilson, 26 out of 99. Maybe Prospect not. ticket autograph. Willie Wilson, Angels. That's why it's a good one. On Hells. That will be for William Hunt. Yeah, well, I, we the, we we took the we took the Patriots too. We're in the was, circuit contest, not the Westgate contest. We're under Jaspi. There's Cody Hosey, who's a Dodger. Really? Yeah, yeah. Look it up. Third base prospect for the Dodgers. 
Draft ticket autograph, first rounder. Possible uh, Man, just, Justin try, Turner. Uh, should I tap to share this checklist with Joe's iPad? Oh, is that? I drop. Am I sharing right now? No. I was about to share my checklist. With you. Shayla's hoping that the Chiefs keep winning until Mahomes comes back. How long is no, Mahomes No, I think up? Garrett Cole goes to the Angels, not Strasburg. And there's Tommy Henry, 22 think, out of 99. 27 out of 99. Strasburg might not even opt out. Yeah. Strasburg should stay, I think. Um, name? Tommy Henry. I say Yankees. That's Tommy Heinrich. That's Tommy Heinrich. D backs. D backs. That's Timothy S. Tim S. with the Snakes. Eagles are gonna just route the Bills as we put that lock that. <laughs> it's a lock? Yeah. So we're in that contest, Marcus and everybody else under Jaspy. J A O S P Y. There's Michael Bush to 99, Dodgers. And we've got Randy Florentino for the Rangers. Five out of 99. I'm assuming that's Texas Rangers, not, not UT. University of Texas. Yeah, it's right. Rangers, okay. okay. Are those the latest rumors? Jose? Anthony Rondon going to the Dodgers? I don't see the Dodgers signing. Uh, just not really the Dodgers style. Payroll tax. No, they got Rich Hill coming off the books, and they've got they've got other they've got some big names coming off the books. That was a lot of money this year, huh? Yeah, it was. It's like fifteen, twenty million dollars for Rich Hill. All right, and we've got Bobby Witt Jr. Ooh. Royals, right? What variation? That's the cracked ice. Cracked ice variation. Yeah, Royals. Number two pick. Wow. That's a nice Tyler hit. Stumpf. Great hit. With an awesome hit. I think they can afford it. It's just a question if they want to. All right, which I don't think they will. And that was already a myth. And I'm sure other teams are doing that. Chris Maxwell. Oh. Unfortunate situation. Yeah, it's not a it's not a good situation. I can see the Dodgers trying to trade for bets, though. I think the Dodgers would be more about trading than just adding to payroll. Anthony Rendon, if you remember before this season, had a lot of nagging injuries that slowed him down in previous years. I don't know if the Dodgers want to go for that. I think they already gave Kershaw the extension, Anthony, so I don't think they have to worry about it. So he's already on the books. Bellinger's first Chrome cards. Chase a $10,000 Bellinger. Nice. There's Max Free, 25. Labor Day. Chris Bryant. And speaking of Mookie Betts, there he is. Die cut. And there's Jameis Winston. That was a big card in 2015, actually. That's pretty cool. That's a randomizer. 148 out of 199. Those are really Perfect short. game autograph. Those yeah, these are sold, really short printed. Sold more than back in Maybe he should have stuck with stuck with baseball. He would have been a great like closer or something. He's got a great arm. <laughs> Remember that five star year they had Tom Brady in? and Elway as baseball. Austin Dean. That's Tom Brady got drafted by a baseball team. Marlins, Steven Yarmo, so. right? Was it Tom Brady? Maybe it was Russell Dan, Wilson. Maybe. It was Dan Marino. It was Dan Marino, Royals, Elway, Yankees. I thought Brady was Expo, but maybe I'm wrong. It's kind of weird seeing a football name in this baseball mixer. Yeah, Brady got drafted by the Expos. Did he really? Wow. And he had autos in a five-star so, baseball. So, on the randomizer at the end of the break, the top name... We'll get all the non-sports stuff from Gypsy Queen well, and Ginter. Yeah, and the second name, we'll get the Winston. Does the Winston as the Rangers? 
Didn't even go by that. 2015 Bowman Chrome. It's a good point, Rick. Oh, Russell Wilson Rangers. Maybe they're talking about. Oh, Russell Wilson. I don't know if Winston ever got it. But let's just see the checklist. Wait, would cardboard connection? Yeah, I'll pull it up. You keep yeah. going. We'll look up that Winston. Maybe he was associated with the team. A uh, pro team, that is. And yeah, Russ Wilson got invited to the Yankees spring training a while ago, too. And they had autos of him. And we've got Milton Ramos for Robert and the Mets. I think Kyler Murray was the only guy to be drafted in the first round of two sports, right? I think so. Unless Robert's mentioning Dave Winfield. Maybe Dave Winfield might have? No, not me, maybe look not. The, look at the top banner. Oh, boy. <laughs> Winston. Winston, none. So that's none, so it is a randomizer. All right. Let's go to some stadium club. Do you think she actually drinks Budweiser? No, do you think... What's her face? Mila Kunis drinks... Uh, I could see Mila I could see a Mila Kunis drinking Jim Beam. Charlize Theron? I don't, I, don't, I don't think Charlize Theron is a big Budweiser drinker. I feel like she's like like a craft beer girl. Which one does... Do you think Kristen Bell runs from Enterprise? No. I think Kristen <laughs> Bell... No. No. There's a... Jose Briseño. Jose Briseño. For the, did he have a walk-off? Yeah. Why, is that so surprising? Yeah. The Angels won this year? <laughs> yeah. William Punt with the Angels. I know. Kershaw could be go down if he has still more good years as the one of the best regular season pitchers. Yeah. yeah. Kind of wild that you, did you see his post game press conference yeah, after that was, loss to the Nationals? Was sad, he yeah. was just like he admitted it. He's like, I don't know what it is. Postseason. Just no, yeah, it. he totally admitted it. Just can't get it done in the postseason. He's like, I know what everyone says. I read. It's like I'm not blind. I read the papers, you know. I don't think he said papers, but no, but yeah, he said. But he said he reads he reads all that. I see what everyone's saying. I'll just put decoys over these cards, I guess. Sure. Are we almost done? Yeah. We're wow. Almost. It's just these two update are the only two heavy ones. That's great. So yeah, six thirty will be done pretty much. Tuki Toussaint rookie autograph. That's for the Braves, Ron Shepard. Tony Gwynn, I think Robert was also drafted by a basketball team. Maybe, I know he was a two-sport guy. He 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 played some some decent hoops too. Frank Thomas, I remember playing um, at Auburn. Maybe he might have played a little bit of football. All right, let's get. I want to get some of the heavier stuff out of the way first, and then we'll get to the kind of the one card one hit type things right here like the gold label and whatnot and this is the free box of optic ad ah this is the free box we added for that bowman that had a missing auto so here's your bonus box let's go bonus box come on 101 make up for it bonus box bonus box mojo your shirts are right there Thanks, Trey Turner, for the free taco. Fernando Tatis Jr., silver. Oh, you're welcome, Chris Maxwell. There's Pete Alonzo, rated rookie tricolor to 150. All right, so some good parallel so far. And it's Ryan Baruki. Pink Velocity autograph for the Blue Jays. That'll be for 
Brian Crouch. If this box didn't have an autograph, would we add another box? <laughs> what if it just kept happening? Yes. That, I also thought of a good brick idea. I won't reveal it, though. Case competitors. Oh, yeah. We, we want to be but the it first. Had, it was similar to that theme. Cal Quantrill to 60. Where we could just be breaking for like 16 hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like, see. Okay. I'm I see. trying to think, like, how do we do that? Nice Casey Mize. Silver. Are they hollows or silver and optic? I forget. Uh, I think they're hollows and optic. And then silver and prism? Silver and prism. Just make it one name. I just use refractor a lot too. Ooh! Whoa, bonus box Bonus box mojo. mojo wow. Rated rookie autograph, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Brian Crouch. I knew it. Free box mojo. Nice. Free box mojo. Yeah, Anthony's like, you're welcome, guys. I think, yeah, you were one of the first who noticed that there was no autograph in that previous, in that Bowman box. There you go, see? And now all is right in the world. All right, what do we have here? Update? Yes, sir. Update hobby. Thirty eight out of fifty on that carry wood. And here's the update right here. We're doing that basketball tonight? We should do that basketball mixer while Nick Jaspi's still here. Sold out for the football. See that Pete Alonzo here too. The mini mixer and basketball, ten left. Nice. All that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Prison draft, eighteen left. Uh, no more update. We don't have any more. At least for the website. That is Bergen I think Jason's doing a case tomorrow on the bay, so. The bay. The bay. Bay. Update bay. We're all card ship. All right, Pelicans Raptors tied going second quarter, 55. And now they just scored, so it's 55-54 now. Raptors losing to the Pels. Nice Tatis Jr. in this mid 80s design there. Siakam just got the max deal. Did you see that? I did see that a couple days ago. Yeah. He's got 14 points, 9 rebounds in two quarters. Siakam's going to eat on that team, right? Yeah. There's like so no one else on that team. Van Van Vliet, Lowry, Gasol, Ibaka. That's some good draft teams. Gasol's a pretty good team. I said, that's, that's good DraftKings. Like, they can't yeah. be priced super high. Van Vliet, and, but they'll yeah. score, yeah. Get assists and stuff. Thanks, Nick. Nick Hunley to 2019. Try to save those Vlad Jr. short prints too. Ooh! They almost got eaten. Bryant to 2019. 
There's JT Real Muto, 2019. Save that Pete Alonzo. Anthony Rendon staying alive here. Hey, no worries, Tim. We try to do, try to do our best here. Whoa, back, back, back. No, warning track. Oh, here's the Star Wars trailer. Can't wait for that Star Wars this Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. This break brought to you by Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker. Coming to a theater near you. Should we all go watch it? Should I take the live stream into the theater? We can all watch it together. These guys, Monty Grandal. Grandal goes to the Brew Crew, Anthony. With that one. Marcus says yes. Thanks, Shayla. <laughs> Appreciate it. We have we have fun here. We'll talk sports. We'll talk some pop culture. We'll talk some other random stuff. And I think we, I'd like to think that we're a little versatile. You know, some of the other guys, I guess you can just watch and get that, but we try to add a little, you know, different twist, a little extra, inter another layer of entertainment during our group breaks. So thank you. Thanks, everybody. I'm not sure what's with the space horses. We'll have to see what that's all about in the Star Wars. Maybe they're they're trying they're they're trying to trying to make like a new generation of Tauntauns happen. Uh, who do you think, Gilo? Gilo's asking who's who's my pick for the Battle of L.A. First of all, there's no Battle of L.A. It's La Lakers are this is definitely a Lakers town. Look how long the Knicks have been bad, and it's still still a Knicks town in New York. Stephen K would like to see Palpatine prevail. I mean, there's some longevity there in Palpatine, right? It's just like, you might as well. It's like, all right, let's just root for the bad guy at this point. I feel like I need to set the... That's it's better there. DJ is asking, are baseball cards the most valuable out of all sports? It all depends. Depends, yeah. Depends on the product, depends on the set, depends on the player. I mean, if you're talking about a 1952 think, Mickey Mantle <laughs> or a yeah, T206. The most expensive card in hobby is baseball. So, yeah. so Thomas Widener. And then, like, Heist, like Mike Trout. But generally. His cards are for 400 grand. Now. Generally, basketball tends to sell. It tends to resell. It's not like he's gonna go down. It's like a stock. I don't know it's what. Like free money. T206s? No, it's Mike Trout. Oh, Trout? Yeah. Imagine him in 30, 40 years. Unless he, like, murders someone. Yeah. Well, it would have to be, like, OJ Simpson. Yeah. OJ Simpson sells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yeah. Mike Trout don't have a murder. Yeah, he doesn't have a murder. Don't put that dirty. Don't <laughs> <laughs> put that voodoo in it. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Just trying to think of what would be like the most uncomfortable Cody thing. Would be me too first. <laughs> Maybe. He's way too tall. Hunter Pence is an axe murderer. 
or J.D. Martinez, 2019. <laughs> I don't know who's going to... I'm not sure who's going to pay Hyunjin Ryu because... Well, because look at his injury history. Like, is anyone going to pay him more than, like... Yeah, he might win side, but are you going to pay him? Let me tell you, buddy. Angels injury history, they don't mind okay. it. They don't. <laughs> Josh Hamilton was doing drugs in Texas, and they signed him. So, so Hyunjin Ru, $18 million a yeah, year, so four-year contract? Four-year contract. He owes so much money. That's crazy. Josh Hamilton. CJ Wilson, they paid a ton. CJ Wilson? Tyler, up the Tyler Skaggs. Is that... <laughs> J.J. Watt hanging out with Kate Upton? Like, <laughs> Justin's like, what? <laughs> uh, no, we, d we don't have our commons on eBay, our vet veteran commons. We donate all the money. Yeah, it's, all, it's usually donated. Or if we do, we, we... Sometimes we have, right? We have... I think we did last year. Well, sometimes we sell them, yeah, and then donate them. And sometimes we send them to like different schools or we just donate them or give stacks of them to kids around here. We do all sorts of different th charity related things with our veteran commons. We might have them in our pinball game too. Scott did Marvel break. I don't think so. Oh, that got re we may have refunded everybody in that Mar uh, that Marvel break. I think you might have been the only person who got a spot, Scott. So we'll have to save that for another day. Did Kuzma put on weight? I don't. I mean, maybe like muscle. But I don't. I don't. I mean, like bad weight or good weight. <laughs> Gee, lo, there's two different kinds. You should get an automated email saying your that order was refunded, Scott. But it went back to whatever payment method you paid with. If it was a credit card, it probably takes like a couple business days or so. If it's PayPal, it should be pretty – like PayPal from your balance, it should be pretty instant. Is Josh Bell. No, no worries, Scott. It's all good. It's a long break. It's fine. It's all good. Uh, and Nick just said he just resent that notification to you as well, Mr. Mulholland. All right. Almost done, folks. This is it right here. What you see right here. That, that, that. Stack of that. I didn't realize that, TJ's. He's from Tulsa? Isn't Matt Kemp from out there, too? No, TJ saying Kuzma, Kyle Kuzma's from Tulsa. I didn't. I don't think I realized that. It's Buster Posey. He went to like Utah or something like that. Utah State or something random like that. Utah State maybe. Not even the Utes. There's Ian Hab, rookie Ian Hab, going to Travis Melberg and the Cubbies. Was he a U? Oh, okay. That's where I thought he went, but I didn't realize he was a U. Jacob deGrom. No, Gilo, you, just, you think he just... Maybe maybe he gained some face muscle. Just Jason Hirsch. I think he started like half court non contact drills or something like that. So he's actually like kind of getting there. Paul George is out for a little while, yeah. Steven Piscotti. More Lakers fans. Me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't think Balmer lets that happen. <laughs> what, are you, what is Balmer going to do? That's just a facsimile autograph. Remember, remember the jerks that were trying to sell this card as autographs? Be careful of that. There were, there were jerks 
who would try to sell that as autos, and they would go for like a hundred bucks. And there's Teoscar Hernandez for the Astros. I no, there's got to be a few teams that are hitless. I mean, usually, almost any given break, no matter how large the the mixer is, he's game time. She's all about. She's all about. I went to CBS. I was just like, I don't know how many Caruso fans there really are. Like his sister. There's Bruce Maxwell. Maybe she's just like, she's like, that's the baller I can get. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm not gonna get Coos. I'm not gonna get. <laughs> There's Bruce Maxwell. Oakland A's. That'll be for Anthony Bonilla. You did get at least one hit, Tim, with the Diamondbacks. I remember that. Did he throw his glove at it? <laughs> oh, and there's Andrew Benintendi, Red Sox, Rick K. That's to 150. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll do this. What's in here? Tier 1 talent, Jacob DeGrom. Nice. To 120. That's for Robert and the Metropolitans. We've got Joey Gallo to 25. And we've got Scott Kingery down there. Nice. So Rangers, that'll be for Chris Maxwell. And Scott, Scott Kingery. Just waiting for Alex. She had the same hair. I was like, man, I wish I played the NBA. Have you seen Alex Caruso? What is it? Overstepping his coverage? We've got um, got Kevin Zymek for the Tigers. That's going to go to Robert Myhill. What's up, Rex? No, I think he's out. Josh Hader, nice. The Hader, 17 out of 99. It's just like you, they just have to sit around the key and just wait for people to throw, shoot up threes, and they'll rebound it. There's Luis Severino, and take the under in the games like all the time. It'll just be like, it'll be like, oh, it'll be like old like '90s basketball. But the games will be like '94 to '90. Luis Severino, Yankees, Robert Myhill with that. Luis Ortiz, Rangers. That'll be Chris Maxwell. Punisher, what's going on, Vince? And we got Braden Shipley. Diamondbacks, 27 out of 50, Jersey and Auto for the Snakes, Timothy. Well, I forgot, they always have the championship winner start first. That's what yeah, that's good. All right. Gold label. Pete Alonzo to 150. 20 out of 50, Matt Chapman. And we got Ken Griffey Jr., 41 out of 50. And behind Derek Jeter, 
is Ramon Laureano, 33 out of 75, going to the Oakland A's. That'll be for Anthony Bonilla. Nice, Joe P. Sending you a Miguel Amaya ball. Awesome. See, yeah, there's good people here at the Jaspies. It's Joey Votto, 99. And behind Otani is Bryce Wilson for the Braves. Ron Shepard with the Bravos. Let's do the Stadium Club box toppers. We got Dodgers edition. When are we getting a Jaspi suite at Staples? Maybe for the XFL. You have to get invited. You have to get XFL, like, we can do XFL field level, maybe. Exactly. There's Yachty for the Cardinals. Dignity Health Sports Park. How much would it cost? We should, we should at least call and be like, hey, Staples Center, like, how much does it cost to get Lakers suites? For for 20 games. You didn't have a suit, but you had a seat with a miracle. You said it cost him, like, Jesus. Yeah, for because you get games, it's probably no, well, like, not just for Lakers because he owned his seat, so he got every Lakers game, every Clippers game, every sport. Yeah. Nationals yeah. edition. Yeah. Which is cool, but it's not. It's a lot of money. All right, and we're closing out with archives, ladies and gentlemen. And like, we don't have clients. We're, 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 just us. There you go, treat yourself, man. All right, we're gonna start off with Blue Jays edition of Bobby Cox. 32 out of 76. Remember Blue Jays edition of Bobby Cox? That goes to Brian Crouch. We got <laughs> Gypsy Queen jersey and autograph. One of one, Ian Kinsler. Rangers. And it's Chris Maxwell who got the Rangers in a trade. Chris. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. And the next one, we've got one of one, Mark McGuire. Oakland A's edition. That's for Anthony. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Next, we've got Rick Honeycutt. Just retired, went into the front office. 46 out of 82 for the Dodgers. That's for Peter. For the Brewers, Domingo Santana, 28. Out of 99, that'll be for Anthony. Last spot, Mojo. We've got Sal Perez, 15 out of 86. It's kind of a random number there that goes to the Royals. Tyler with Kansas City. We've got a one of one, Chris Taylor. Mariners edition. Remember, he used to be on the Mariners before he came to the Dodgers. Nice Chris Taylor going to Evan. That's his early bird spot. He got the worm, Evan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Then we have Sean Manea. 69, nice. Out of 99 for the A's, that'll be for Anthony. We've got Steven Souza Jr., 26 out of 46. Tampa Bay Rays, that'll be for the X line. And the Rays, couple more to go. We have Cool Whit Merrifield. 19 out of 25. That's another Royal for Tyler. And last but not least, clearly authentic, is Aaron Judge. That's a nice way to end it. 9 out of 25 on the clearly authentic Aaron Judge autograph for Robert Myhill and the New York Yankees, the Bronx Bombers. Did Soto go yard? Soto bombs. Ooh, he hit the train? Wow. Yeah. Woo. All 
Wow. All right. Now let's do a quick little randomizer here. So the randomizer will be for the non-sports cards from Gypsy Queen and Ginter, and then that Jameis Winston that popped. I think it was Arizona Fall League Jameis Winston or something like that. No, perfect game Jameis Winston. All right, so let's go back to this list right here. And let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a six, nine times, top two names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time after nine times. Brian Crouch, you'll get those random uh, non-sports cards. And Yervin, you'll get the Jameis Winston autograph that popped out of a baseball product, which is really great. Yes, Swan Soda is a beast, Shale, you're right. Um, I don't think that, I think that ball hit the train. Yeah, it, it went right in front of the, on the train tracks. Crazy. Well, there you go, folks. That was Jaspi's 51 box World Series baseball mixer, random team break number one. More monster mixers in the store. Check it out on jaspiescasebreaks.com. And we'll see everyone next time. Bye-bye.